Air raids sounding in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. Rockets fired from Syria. Israel says some were intercepted, others caused damage to their frontline positions. The Israeli army is attributing the attack to the Quds Brigade, part of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. Iran is an ally of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, and the coalition says it didn't start this fight. It says Israel fired shells at the Golan border town of Han Anabe earlier on Wednesday. On Tuesday, it blamed Israel for this airstrike on a Syrian army base south of Damascus that killed two people. The Syrian military says this video shows it firing missiles in response to Israeli attacks on Damascus suburbs. Some people estimate that Israel has made a hundred incursions, certainly dozens, scores of them, uh, including just yesterday, I believe. And so for a while, um, frankly, I've been waiting for an Iranian response. Iran has increased its military presence in Syria and with it increased tensions with neighboring Israel. It escalated this week when US President Donald Trump quit the Iran nuclear deal, referring to Israeli intelligence documents that said Iran had been pursuing nuclear weapons for years, something Iran denies. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has traveled to Moscow to meet with Assad's ally, Russian President Putin. I presented Israel's obligation and right to defend itself against Iranian aggression from Iran, from within Syrian territory, against the state of Israel. The Iranians declare their intention to attack us. They're trying to transfer forces and deadly weapons there with the explicit goal of attacking Israel as part of their strategy to destroy Israel. Earlier this week, the Israel army warned of an imminent attack. The IDF has detected irregular Iranian activity in Syria and is preparing the civilian population on the Golan Heights accordingly, as well as defensive systems. Any aggression against Israel will be met with a severe response. And now, after the Golan Heights attack, Israel followed through. Syrian media broadcasting their air defences responding to attacks by Israel, rockets arching from one country to another, Israelis in the Golan Heights and Syrians urged to find cover, hoping the assault doesn't escalate. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.